So another one bites the dust. Another game is being censored by PlayStation or Sony specifically. And this one, this one is being censored before it makes it out of Japan. So that goes to show that Japan's not even immune to Sony censorship. I'm sorry. I'm I'm yawning. It's I'm tired. It's like three thirty in the morning, and I just finished streaming, um, a Plague Tale, which is a fantastic game, by the way. You should really play that. Anyways, this video is really about Omega Labyrinth Life for, you know, which is supposed to come out on the Switch and the PS4, and is being censored on PlayStation. I you know I I remember the days when Nintendo didn't want certain games on their platform because they they were like oh my god it's too too much too lewd i don't want to see that we don't want to see that but now nintendo's like give us all the games give us all the, we won't touch them give us all the games we'll make all the money so playstation doesn't want to make the money sony doesn't want to make the money give it to us we'll make the money and you know the thing is that they're censoring it for an audience that's not even going to buy these games these type of games omega labyrinth life these type of games are fan service games these are for those those gamers that they want to just kind of you know chill and have fun playing a game like this now we're gonna we're gonna read the article we're gonna go over the differences between the ps4 and the switch version there's images i'm not gonna show the images they are not safe for work <laughs> they're not safe. i'm not like they the way that they put it is they put it as the version that you can play and then there's the version that you can show other people <laughs> <laughs> that's the way they put it uh so i'm not gonna show the images like i said because they're not safe for work okay uh so title omega labyrinth life uh for switch launches alongside censored labyrinth life for ps4 on august 1st in japan this article is coming to us by gematsu uh, i'll go ahead and leave a link down below for you guys to check out the full article with the images if you if you want Sorry, like I said, late night. Um, Rogue-like RPG Omega Labyrinth Life will launch for Switch alongside the newly revealed, playable in front of others, Labyrinth Life for PlayStation 4. Like, is it so much that they changed the name? They changed the name of the game. So, the Switch version is Omega Labyrinth Life, and the PS4 version is just Labyrinth Life. They... they they went as far as changing the game. That is that is ridiculous. Okay, so. Both versions feature the same characters, character skills, monster items, story, dungeon, difficulty setti settings, and the like, but differ in terms of sexual content expression. Here are the key differences via the game's official website. Omega Labyrinth Life and Labyrinth Life. Okay, so one's on the Switch, one's on the PS4. They're both released on the same date. Uh, the price, apparently, the PS4 version, the censored version, is cheaper. It's cheaper. That's interesting. The resolution will be 1080p HD. And then, obviously, when you're in handheld mode on the Switch, it's going to be a low resolution. Frame rate, 60 frames per second on both. This may fluctuate during gameplay. Uh, it says it on both of them, so that's that's fine. Uh, save data only save only save per account. Save data can be backed up via Nintendo Switch Online, and the PS4 version three saves per account. Save data can be uploaded and downloaded to and from PlayStation Network via in-game menu. That's interesting. That's interesting because usually they, you know, there's. Some in most games, there's no limit to how many times you can save, but that's that's interesting. Uh, trophies, no trophies on the Switch version, but there are on PS4. Uh, okay, so here are the scenes and the differences. Okay, fate and agony flowering system. Now I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, but just reading it, I can have an idea of it. Illustrations include normal and full break bloom illustrations on the Switch. On the PS4, includes only normal illustrations. <laughs> Scenes, play, touch events. Acquired amount of experience points differs depending on the outcome of the touch event. And the PS4 version. Scenes are skipped 
after the normal illustrations are displayed. Players acquire a fixed amount of experience points. So, oh, okay. So the touch event, I, I mean, I have taken a look at the images and, um, and, and like look right up on the gameplay a little bit. Touch the touch event. Basically, you're touching the screen on the switch and, and doing stuff. You, you're doing stuff. Opal appraisal system. Illustrations include opal appraisal, appraisal illustrations. PlayStation 4, nothing. Nothing. Scenes. Play touch events after performing an opi. Oh, opi, not opal. I don't have my glasses on. I took my glasses off because they were making a glare. Opi appraisal system. I'm sorry. Play touch events after performing an opi appraisal. The object placed in between the character's breasts can be changed. After performing an opi appraisal, the scene automatically skips. The object placed in between of the breasts does not appear in the PlayStation 4 version. Opi Rock Paper Scissors System. Control breasts to play rock paper scissors. Okay. The PS4 version. Play rock paper scissors with Labyrinth Life exclusive scenes. Meaning censored scenes. Hot Spring Events illustrations. Includes every character's hot spring illustrations. PS4 version includes every character's hot spring illustrations. The amount of steam in the illustrations is partic is partially different from Omega Labyrinth Life. The scenes includes the illustration touch and illustration zoom in and zoom out features. Includes and then the PS4 version includes zoom in and zoom out features. Holy Flower Flora dedicated events includes Holy Flower Flora dedicated events illustrations versus PS4. It says the same thing. Okay, uh, scenes play touch events. PS4, no touch events. Skip the scenes. Uh, PTA, high touch action. Oh, Jesus Christ. Character illustrations, touch gameplay, and reactions. Supported, not supported. Gallery features. View the illustrations, including Omega Labyrinth Life. View illustrations, including included in Labyrinth Life. Opie, big breasts. Enlargeable. Jesus Christ. Up to Z cup. Wow. Okay. Depending on the change in bus size, characters, status, and illustrations change. Sony. Enlargeable. Okay, I'm surprised they're actually doing that. Up to Z Cup. I'm surprised they're doing that. Depending on the change in the bus size, the character, status, and illustration, I'm surprised they're keeping that. I'm surprised they're keeping that. Okay. Chip high, small breasts. Enlargeable up to Z Cups. Okay. Depending on the changing bus size. Okay, so all that is the same. I'm surprised they kept that in both contents. Uh, seductive opi, like them, love them, like them, love them. So that's that looks to be the same. Other notes, content in. Uh, let's not scroll any further. Uh, the content in the opening movie and ending partially differs in each version depending on the illustration. Labyrinth Life only includes the character calls for some characters on the title screen after starting up the game. The included characters, character skills, monster items, story, dungeon difficulty setter, settings, etc. are the same between each version. Okay. Uh, the May 16th due issue of Weekly Famitsu has the feature on Omega Labyrinth Life, which includes new characters. Okay. Um, down below are the preview images. We're not going to We're not gonna look at those. We're, we're not. We're not. They are not. They are not safe for work. Like that, that first one that you can see. Is is not is not safe for me to show, so I'm just I'm gonna leave it there. Like I said, I'll leave the link for the article for you guys. But this right here, like I said, it's another game that's uh, getting the Sony treatment at this point. Um, I'm not saying that I I'm gonna buy the game if it comes out in the states. This honestly, this isn't the type of the game that that interests me. Because I, I prefer games with story, at least some story, or like decent story and decent gameplay. I mean, this is a fan service game for sure, 100%. And I don't see anything wrong with that. By all means, if that's what you like to play, that's what you like to play. I'm not going to judge you. There's no reason for it. But apparently, Sony is judging you. Sony's judging you hard. Like, to the point that you're going to hear a knock at your door. Knock, knock, FBI. And it's going to say Sony. So, I'm, I'm like, I'm really tired of the Sony censorship at this point. I really am. Um, I love Sony. I love PlayStation. I love the games that they've come out with for the exclusives. I love the history that PlayStation has. But at this point, they're like, 
shooting themselves in the foot because honestly people who buy these games love these games they they look forward to these games and they will buy them the minute that they release and guess what sony you're gonna lose out on all of those clients they're gonna go towards nintendo like switch has been getting all the good games because or not all the good games but they've been getting all the customers because of sony's censorship policies so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'm going to go get some rest. I'm exhausted. But I'm. let me know down in the comment section. I will catch you all later. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Sony, I love you, but you got to change, man. You got to change big time. Peace out, guys.